So the offset back. Now I have I didn't I didn't want to do one of these videos because you're you, I was thinking to myself why would I do this because you'll never do it in real life and my main goal when teaching you guys is uh, to do stuff that you're going to do in real life. But I went ahead and uh, well I decided to do it for you because I've had so many requests for it. Now when I'm doing it, I was realizing that wow this is actually a very well. I I can understand why they're putting this into the test because it is showing the testers that you're, you're understanding how to control the actual trailer itself, all right? And uh, not going out of control. Even though it might be something that you might not do in the real world, but in reality, you are doing it in the real world. You just not may, you may not be doing the actual offset back, but you will be doing something similar in a, in a way just to, to maneuver your trailer from time to time, all right? And uh, so this is my take on it, and this is how I would do it. Now, there will be, as you can see here from the from the just from the drone footage itself, this is uh and, and by the way this I don't drive this fast. This is actually uh, ten times the speed of what uh, I I actually have been doing it at with a little bit of editing and of course this is actual footage. This is not a simulator, as some people have thought. But anyway, let's get down with it and let's go jump in the cab. Things you need to know when it comes to doing the offset back is all right. So depending on your trailer, now more than likely if you're actually doing the offset back, like you would pretty much you have to be in school because there's no way you're ever going to do this in the real world in this particular situation. All right, you're not going to like set up just to move over one space to the left or to the right doing the offset. But the actual maneuvers itself are very valuable to learn. Now. Um, I, I recommend giving having your trailer the distance that you're going to use would be an entire trailer length So if you're doing a 28 foot trailer like you probably are going to be doing in school yeah, That's the distance you pretty much would need now. All right, so Now we're going to need we're going to want to turn it We're going to get our trailer pointing towards this side So we're going to have to turn our steering wheel to the right opposite direction of where you want your trailer to go Of course now I always like to look at maneuvering the actual trailer Sorry, maneuvering the front of the trailer. So I want the front of the trailer to go to the right in order to point the back of my trailer to the left. All right, I'm all about pointing. This is why I animate these uh, these lines on the back of my trailer. And of course, this is actual footage. This is not a simulator or anything. All right. Now I end up uh, jackknifing a bit too much here. Now, of course, I've got my head out the window. All right. Now I start cranking. I start chasing a little bit too late. All right. Now, there's a reason why I'm doing this, or why I, I did chase too late, because now this, let me let me just rewind for just a second. So let's pretend this uh, particular cone here, I know it's just a black dot on the screen right now. All right, you wanna be able to, as you can see, my trailer is not pointing towards it, but I can actually still see it, but in a second I won't be able to. Now, we want to be able to see this cone. Now let's just pretend, I know we're all about pretending here, that there's a truck here. And now I cannot see, when I look in this mirror, I cannot see my cone. My cone is way over here and the truck and is like here. And that's not good. So I'm, I'm not very happy. I don't think I can jackknife that in very well. And if I do, I'll be getting out. And so this would be the point where you get out and look. And I probably could manage it, but but if you look, if you extend this green line all the way over here, all right, I might be able to pull it off, but there's no need to, to take the chance, all right? So what we're gonna do instead, we're just gonna pull forward, go off to the left, just a little bit, and then straighten ourselves up. Now, remember when, when we straighten ourselves up, we're cranking the steering wheel all the way to the right in order to straighten us up in the shortest distance. So once I'm straight, I can look in my left hand mirror and I can see this cone. All right. And there would normally be like maybe a truck there or something or whatever. So this is good. You know, and I've left myself enough space. And like if I was pointing towards this one, I probably wouldn't manage, I wouldn't be able to get in. You have to be, when you look down the side of the trailer, you have to have a nice little gap here. All right. So I'm going to be backing up here and slowly jackknifing. And now we're a little harder jackknife. Now, of course, you can, uh, obviously you can see what's going on here. Of course, this is the blind side. So as you can see, my bald head is is, is going up a little forward just so I can actually maneuver my, uh, my view. Now, all right, so this particular point in the offset back, all right. Now, let's rewind for just a second. Uh, this point right here, this is where you get out and look, all right. Now, 
obviously when you're going to be doing this you're going to be doing it in a testing situation all right so they're going to want you to get out and look here all right so you take a little wander around and make sure you're not going to hit it or you look down the side here making sure it's like yeah okay i'm good i'm good and all right so now usually what's going to happen is you're going to end up being too close now i wouldn't say too close but you're going to be close to this particular line all right because the closer you are to this line the further you are from the other lines now i don't know how many uh, times you're allowed to get out and look during your test but so now as you can see i'm looking good all right so now let's go ahead and move over to the to the one on the right so we're just going to drive straight forward all right now i've i've got enough distance i've got the same distance from the the entrance as the same size as my trailer so turn the steering wheel to the left which brings the front of my trailer to the left pointing now i'm going to call it pointing because you're not actually moving it over all right there we go so now we're blindsiding again now you can adjust your head to actually see a well maneuver the mirror i suppose you could also use the uh m the mirror adjustments and moving to the left or to the right so this is exactly what I'm looking for right here. All right, I can still see the cone. All right, I know I can't quite see it there, but I'm a good distance away. Now, if I if the back of the trailer was all, was pretty much at the entrance right here, that wouldn't be good. All right, because I am 20 feet away from it, maybe 25, it is okay. So, and I've left myself with a nice little gap here, allowing for the curve of the trailer to actually maneuver in. So, I'm, right now I'm in a straight back position. My Steers are turned to the right, and that's exactly where I want it to be. All right, and I uh, start backing because the front of the trailer goes off to the right, maneuvering the back of the trailer to the left. Now, as the reason we're seeing this view here is because this allows me to stick my head out the window. All right, now we look in the other mirror, looking good, looking good. Usually, yes, I am a bit too close over here. That's fine. All right. Not quite center, but passable. All right, let's do it again. All right, now I've given myself lots of room. All right, the further away you are from the space, the the less jackknifing you need to do. See, as you can see, I, I'm already starting to chase it. There we go, we're pointing exactly where I want it to, want to be. I know I can't see, looking in this mirror over here, I can't see my cones. But the fact that I'm so far away and I can see it over here, because I'm gonna as soon as you start jackknifing, it's gonna start pointing the back of the trailer and where you need it to go. Now I am a bit, I am a bit uh, close, so let's go ahead and uh, center ourselves because we are we are allowed to do a a pull forward. So we're gonna to go to the left, turn the steering wheel to the left. All right. Now, pretty soon after I turn to the left, as you can see, I'm already turning to the right. All right. Why would I do that? Even though my trailer tires have not moved over, it is the rotation to the right. What we're going to do, we're going to turn the steering wheel to the right. So turn it, turn it, turn it. As you can see now, we are not parallel like we were. We are. All right. So, but of course, this is the important part of the entire moving of the trailer over. It's a rotating of the trailer. And now we can straighten ourselves up. And now we could do a nice simple control straight back with tiny maneuvers. Remember now when you're doing the straight back, you still have to turn the steering wheel. It's kind of a bit of a balancing act. All right, let's move over one space to the right. Okay. Now this is one of my, I think, better ones. So again, we turn our steering wheel to the left, moving the front of the trailer to the left, and then the back of the trailer starts going to the right. All right, looking good. I can see the both front cones. Of course, now when you're gonna be doing this, you're gonna be doing it in a smaller trailer. There will be no swing of the trailer, uh, unless you're in one of those schools that actually has uses big trailers, and I commend them. I love when I hear that trucking schools will actually teach you how to drive a truck and uh, with a big trailer, instead of just getting you your CDL. But Kind of hard to learn it all at once but let's do the same thing again we did the last time let's center ourselves rotating the trailer here and straighten up and a nice simple straight back all 
All right, one more time. Now this one, this time I gave myself a little, little bit of a challenge. I haven't given myself a lot of room here. I've only given myself like 40 feet. All right, what are we, this is this being 50 feet, 53 feet actually. And of course, this being around 40. So give myself a little bit of a challenge here. All right, so hard right. All right, I wanna get the front of the trailer to go to the right. I know I'm a broken record and I keep repeating this. All right, it's just the way I teach. All right, remember we're all about maneuvering the front of the trailer. And then pointing to the back of the pointing the back of the trailer where we need to go. So sticking our head out the window, even all right. Cranking it hard. Now of course, now let's stop for a second. I can see the front. I'm still a good. Well, it looks like I'm ten feet away, maybe eight. All right, I can still see this one, this cone, and I have a, I can still see this cone. So I'm pointing towards it. All right, I'm gonna stop right here. This is where you get out and look. And of course, my version of getting out and looking is taking my head over to see the drone footage. Now, of course, if I was doing this in real life, I would get out and look. But since I can look, since I have a screen <laughs> with my drone pointing down on it, I'm gonna do that instead. All right, and I'm happy with it. Of course, now the more you jackknife, the more you're gonna miss this. Of course, we gotta worry about that swing. Of course, if you're doing this in your test, you're probably doing it with a 28 foot trailer, or your axis all the way back or whatever. So this is a good controlled back where you're doing multiple turning. And there we go. We are nice and centered. Well, I hope you enjoyed that video now on the offset back. Uh, if you didn't enjoy it, maybe you got a little more educated on how to do it and the importance of knowing how to do it. Even though you'll never do it in the real life, you will at least do the actual maneuvers itself. Okay, so uh, please like this video. The more likes it gets, the more popular it gets. And uh, subscribe, of course, and share. And if you do go to the website, please donate, and that'll help out my actual site be a little bit more better than just a donate page. But anyway, all right, till the next video, guys. See ya.